Hi everyone, this is Christine Summers here with IDA TV. Today I'm joined by Jim Saunders, President, I mean CEO of Rainbow Dumplings, and Cindy Leo, President of Rainbow Dumplings. Hi Jim and Cindy. Yes, sorry. Um, what is your inspiration behind creating Rainbow Dumplings, making it, you know, vegan, plant-based? Uh, what's the story behind it? Well, I, I sold uh, Ethan Cohen with, with Beyond uh, Fava and Pea Protein many years ago. So I've been around the plant-based category for probably about eight years and I imported hemp uh, from Canada. So I've been around uh, plant-based for quite some time, acai before that. And we decided uh, to get into the dumpling, the Xiaolong Bao business after COVID. We were in the PPE business and this is where the, the story began. So she wanted to push traditional meats, and I wanted to push the plant-based. So we kind of found a balance between seafood and plant-based. So you can ask her in Mandarin. She can speak in Mandarin. plant-based 就从来没有过以前这种的那个 而且小笼包非常非常的美味 所以呢我们想这个vegan现在的话没有小笼包所以呢我们做这个小笼包做一个首创是这样的 真的很好吃，因为你看，我现在你们在整那个sample嘛，我当时吃的时候没想到说这这不是肉，like tastes so much like meat, amazing. Yeah, yeah. So truly, the texture—that's really the 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 biggest challenge—is getting the texture to taste like true meat, and I think we accomplished that. We have a great research chef and team at our facility, so we can contract manufacture with your recipe, with our recipe, different colors. Uh, we can parse steam, so a quick food service application, save time and labor, right? So that's really the inspiration. I, I've been in the food business for some time, and uh, this is something we're first to market, and that's really what I love is being first to market, a new food concept, and I think we have a winner here. Yes. Uh, Thank you, Jim, and thank you, Cindy. Thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Rainbow dumplings. Rainbow dumplings. Come get some. It was tastes amazing. Once again, this is Christine Summers with ID TV.